Hello you, what are some good questions I should ask at the beginning of a video to increase engagement at the start of the video in the comment section? Let me know in the comments. Today I'm teaching you how to make a infinite loop using a time-lapse clip or any video clip pretty much. I got some comments about how I looped my previous video, you know the one I've talked about and the one I made the video about here, and I thought, you know what, maybe that's a really basic, really simple tutorial, but something that's really useful for some people uh, if you're making GIFs, etc. For example, I started posting on Reddit more recently, I've been posting on there for ages, but uh, people like uh, loops, people like perfect loops. So today I'm teaching you how to create this, which, I mean, if you know how video editing works, you know how extremely simple this concept is, but I haven't made a tutorial about it yet and I want to make a video today, so let's go. You want to obviously start with a time-lapse clip. If you don't know how to time-lapse, video up here, or uh, any other video clip pretty much, but if your framing is the same, you'll be able to apply this technique. Now I'm going to be using Premiere Pro for this, which is uh, very, very simple. You want to import your clip into Premiere Pro and then create a sequence from said clip. Then you're going to browse to the relevant sections of the clip. You just want to select what you want to loop and delete the rest. You then uh, navigate to a point in that clip where you want the loop to start. You're going to cut, you're going to take the first bit, put it behind the second bit, delete the empty space at the front, and then you're going to add a cross dissolve or a uh, opacity transition or a standard video transition, the most standard transition that you'll see in many, many video editing softwares. And then you're going to extend that for quite a long period of time. You can do that over a couple of seconds, like four seconds, for example. And boom, voila, there you have it. This is now an infinitely looping clip because if this is the video clip and you've cut it here and you've put them like that, it means that the last frame here the next frame is actually at the start now, so no matter what happens in that middle cut that you've created after switching them around, if you crossfade that gently into the next clip, you've got yourself an infinite loop and that is how simple it is. What I like to do also is speed it up and as you can see on screen right now, um, you can make anything loop like this as long as your beginning and end frames are the same, obviously. And that's today's very quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, you know the drill. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Check out my free ebooks about time lapse, about hyperlapse. Check out my time lapse course, which you can find down below as well. Check out the Time Warper Weekly, my weekly newsletter with monthly giveaways. That's where the value is for you. Check it out. Any questions, any tutorial suggestions or requests, please let me know. Pop it in the comments. I love you. See you soon. Bye-bye.